Man, what's up, y'all? What y'all think about this Marcus Houston shit? I know I, me personally, I was over here trying to figure out. I'm like, I wonder what Rome, LDB, Chris Stokes. I wonder what Demarion, Raz. Yeah, I wonder what everybody is thinking. You know what I mean? You know, um, first thing I, first thing I thought, why would Marcus say this? Like. Come on, Marcus. Like, so apparently Marcus said that women his age may come with baggage and kids and he could have married a 41 year old woman and it could have been disastrous. What does that what does that mean when that's how old you are? Like, like that's that's called mature. That's called growth. That's called being grown. You know, I mean, at our age right now. Um, a lot of our friends, a lot of our, um, a lot of our classmates, you know, um, you know, a lot of our, our peers at work, um, you know, everybody's kid is, is 20, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it just, it's just not a good look. It's just really not a fucking good look, Marcus. It, it's just really not a fucking good look. I mean, I'm like totally disgusted, bro. And I know you don't see that there's anything wrong, you know, but I bet you do now. Um, Rome was smart. Rome was smart. He said, I'm not about to be a part of this sinking ship. You know what I mean? And, and you know, so this is what Rome had to say. Um, Rome, which is Marcus Houston's uh, group member, uh, my ex group member, he said, it's unfortunate that in a moment of mourning and grieving his brother, sorry for your loss, Ron, um, that I would have to speak on statements that I did not agree with, that I do not agree with. As a member of Immature, I would like to spend my, I would like to extend my sincerest apologies in regards to the insensitive statements made by my former group member, Marcus Houston. Now he said former. He wanted to distance himself all the way from Immature, all the way from Marcus Houston. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Um, while, while I believe that, you know, Rome did what he had to do to get his back, I believe that Rome was the last realest nigga, you know, in the group. And uh, I don't know. You know, we had an altercation last time I saw him. Um, you know, at Janae's um, little brother Miyagi's funeral, uh, rest in peace, Miyagi. Um, but yeah, you know, I always, you know, Rome always had much love for Rome. Rome is the original member of Mature. So, you know, when he, when Rome speaks, I think everybody should listen and, and really break down the words and listen to exactly what it is that he's saying. He said, we were raised by a tribe of strong, independent women who face hardships. We will never fully understand women today have enough battles to endure, including the policing of their bodies, equal pay in the workplace, and beauty standards. It is never okay to degrade one group of women in order to praise another. Black women in particular are often on the receiving end of the constant negative stereotypes they fight against daily. As an adolescent group of the 90s, we did not fully understand the concept of colorism in the entertainment industry and never intentionally isolated any particular group of women in our music videos. We would be nothing without the loyal fans who have stood by us for three decades, some who happen to now be hardworking single mothers. As artists, it has always been important to us that the content of our music and who we represent as men would never disrespect women, especially women of color. And his views do not reflect those of the group. Now, this letter right here is from Romeo. Okay. This is Marcus Houston's group member. This is my formerly, my formal group member. I was an immature. Um, I was original member of immature. Uh, before LDB. Yeah. So that's irrelevant. But um okay so moving on um so this i mean this is getting so fucking petty so marcus comes back and he makes a post this is how you know that marcus is unbothered 
okay? And he don't give a fuck about what none of us is saying. He thinks what he's doing is right. He said, Marcus Houston says, to all my fans, supporters, and real truth seekers, I can see how the media would love to pin people against people for monetary gain. But when you're at peace, loving life, and able to still make a positive impact in the entertainment world for over two decades, it's so easy to move out the way and let bottom feeders eat. Basically, he said, Romeo, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, while Rome is like, while Rome already knows that Marcus is wrong and he wants to distance himself, Marcus had to make a comment and try to throw Rome under the bus like he was the bottom feeder. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, Marcus was, you know, he was, he was in a full blown relationship. Rome wasn't. You know what I'm saying? You know, Marcus and, and Chris Stokes are lovers and have been lovers forever. Probably the last 20 years. Whether they got girlfriends or not, you know what I'm saying? They're lovers. And that's the reason why you have Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston. They have a company called Brian and Barrett Femps, right? So what's Brian and Barrett? Brian is Marcus Brian, uh, uh, Brian is, is Christopher Brian Stokes and Barrett is Marcus Barrett Houston. Brian and Barrett Films, right? So, you know, then they have their company footage films. Now, if you guys support what Marcus Houston is doing, then you guys are going to continue to support footage films. But I know that any person in their right mind that sees this guy's behavior and Chris Stokes' behavior and it goes unanswered and it goes unpunished, undealt with, undealt dealt with, dealt with. <laughs> um, this shit has to piss you off, you guys. I'm asking everybody to strike for this films and anything that Marcus Houston does or Chris Stokes does because this whole situation, just messing with minors, is just unacceptable, and I don't think we should tolerate it. The fact that he's already been canceled on on internet, you guys, on the internet, you guys, is the reason why we should do something about this shit. <sighs> Last post from uh, Marcus, he said, "I humbly apologize for the comments I have made and to those who I have offended." I deep I have deep respect for all women of my age, race, or background, and my comments made in a recent interview was taken out of context. I work with many independent women every single day and have multiple and I have ultimate respect for them and what they're able to accomplish in this world. And my choice of words or how they were taken does not reflect how I view them. That's bullshit. <laughs> Straight bullshit. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Do you think Marcus Houston has... Do you think he feels bad? Do you think he feels guilty? Do you think he sees nothing wrong with his actions? Do you think that Chris groomed him so well that he doesn't even know he's reacting and doing everything that Chris taught him as a young kid. The grooming of a child. 17 years old. To have your eyes on a child. It's pretty fucking sick. Well. I want some comments below you guys. You want some more videos. Um, tap in. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Ricky Romance. And Marcus. I'm at a loss for words, bro. You're literally married to a young lady that is still considered missing. Do, do you understand that? You are married to a woman that is still considered to be missing.
I don't know who's in charge of the Bureau of Missing and Exploited Children or whatever that organization is called, but somebody needs to really look into this and really contact that young lady's parents and really find out if she was okay with this. Well, I think it's past tense. You fucked up, Marcus. You fucked up, bruh.